Welcome to TGIF. It seems like we're always talking about the hard things on TGIF. It's not that there's not so many blessings. We talked about blessings last week, but the struggle is real. There are just things in life that we... Takes us to the word of the day, which is wrestle. Each and every day, there's that battle of wrestling of with decisions or where's God or should I do this or should I do that? I mean, there's a lot of wrestling. I mean, like going to the mat practically. Yeah. And so then is it okay to wrestle with God? Hmm, let's think, find out. Yeah. Our scripture today comes from Genesis 32, verse 30. Jacob named the place Peniel, which means face of God. For he said, I have seen God's face. I have seen God face to face, yet my life has been spared. Wow, that's really amazing when you think about seeing God or being with God face to face. Mm. And this is actually part of a, a, a quite the little wrestling tournament. This is a physical wrestling that takes place. It's interesting because Jacob is in a, in a tough situation. You know, he has issues with Esau. He has a lot of issues with people, other nations around him. And so when we were in Israel, remember when we went over to the Jordan, crossed into Jordan, uh, we went to this river in this place. But you remember it was kind of, mm -hmm. it was not the prettiest place to be. But this is a place where he sends his family, his possessions all across the river and he stay, stands by himself. And there he wrestles with God. I mean, they, mm -hmm. they do quite the wrestling. So we want you to go and read chapter 28 through 36 because that's the storyline we're talking about today and it's a big piece of scripture but we do give you a week right you have a week yeah. to go back and read and so you have homework do this. so if you think about how we're on this journey too if you stick with us all throughout this time you're going to have read a huge chunk of the bible and hopefully we can make it fun along the way with with this pieces of stories but we have this wrestling that Jacob is in. Jacob receives a new name. Jacob will become Israel in this wrestling match. I mean, it, that's how intense it gets. He gets a new name. But we know Israel becomes the nation of Israel and the tribes, 12 tribes. So all of this is kind of forming where Jacob is going to journey. Wrestling with God is not forbidden. I mean, and, and we're looking at this, it seems like it's part of walking with God then. When we... So when we have these tough situations in our life and it seems like the circumstances are putting a lot of pressure on, maybe what you should be asking yourself is, 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 is this a moment that I am wrestling with God? Is that what's going on here? Because if it is, then you can start to ask important questions. You can start to point the conversations in this wrestling time, uh, trying to help understand what's going on. Many times, what I have found anyway, is that when I try to make my plans work mm. with God, that's some of the biggest wrestling I do because I feel like this is a good plan. I feel like if I could just get God's blessing, which we talked about last week, mm -hmm. on this plan, that stamp of approval, then everything would be fine. But yet sometimes what God is really trying to show me is, reveal to me, is His plan and how His plan. And I think often we wrestle with ourselves and sometimes I think we mistake that. Are we wrestling with God or with ourselves? Mm -hmm. And when you said trying to get God on board with your plan, yeah. I mean, that's where the whole story goes south in that moment. But yes, wrestling with God is okay because he knows that we have struggles. But the fact that we have the opportunity to engage him like that, because if he already knows your heart and he already knows what you're struggling with or what you're having a hard time making decisions, getting back on that path. If he already knows that before you even enter into conversation with him, he knows what the outcome's going to be anyway. So it's just that release that it's okay that you wrestle with God as long as you're wrestling the right way. One of the things that we know is how important that while you're wrestling, you're also trying to understand like Jacob. Jacob understood the importance of receiving a blessing. Mm -hmm. I mean, right, he manipulated it to get it, the blessing from his father. But in this place, he can't manipulate it because you can't manipulate God. And so I think that's why this, this wrestling is so mm -hmm. intense for him and that through it, he desperately wants this blessing. And I think it's important for us to understand that we, how important it is to have God's blessing mm -hmm. on our lives. 
Does that exempt us from any kind of tragedies happening? It doesn't because we know that we know Jacob's story and how it'll go on and there's going to be a lot of difficulties. So you're not trying to receive this blessing and you're not wrestling with God to get your way, but it also is not going to bar you from tragedies or other mm -hmm. difficult things in your life. It, because exactly like you said, you're not wrestling to get your way, but I think, oh, how we do that. We will go to the mat to, to show where somebody that, w no, we're right, my way. We'll go to the mat, we'll stick to that. But when we're wrestling with God, that wrestling should be that seeking, okay, God, what are you trying to show me through this str struggle or through this tragedy? Like the wrestling is getting yourself out of the way and saying, okay, God, you got my attention. This is what I want, but what do you want? So it's like kind of flipping the map in that wrestling match, really. Because I think the wrestling I do, I do my own battles within my own head when I could be going to God and asking what he would want for me. Yeah, I think that what we're ultimately trying to do is understand God's direction for our life. Mm -hmm. And while it might seem self-serving, oh, I got to get the blessing, got to get the blessing, it's actually humbling because mm. if you're going in the right direction, you humble yourself before God and say, God, what do you want? Mm. How do you want to grow me? And mm. it could be that God is just trying to go to you. We've all got ready as believers have a secure destination, that eternal life in heaven. That's already secured. That's a huge blessing. Mm -hmm. So why not try to understand how that blessing through the wrestling with God reveals more of what God wants in your life? Because ultimately, that becomes part of each of our stories, whatever that looks like. But God uses our stories for other people to show. That's our opportunity to be a testimony, to live out the fact that, yes, we are struggling, but this is how we're struggling. We're wrestling with God. I don't like what's going on in my life. I can't change the circumstances, but this is how I'm wrestling with God. I'm trusting He's got the perfect plan. He's figured this whole thing out. My eternity, I have eternal life with him, but how can I experience that here on earth? And at the same time of seeking blessings, but wanting to be a blessing to others when they see how we go through the hard stuff. Because remember, we're designed for purpose. God created us for purpose. And even though the circumstances are hard and we wrestle with them, you're designed for purpose in that wrestling match. So as we send you out with your question, and don't forget to do your homework of reading chapters 25, excuse me, 28 through 36, the question is, how do you wrestle with God? Have you really thought about, do you wrestle with God? And I think sometimes you get into a place in life, retired, kids are gone, you don't have as many stresses in life that you do when you're on the go all the time raising a family. But if you're sitting content, then you're not probably reaching out and doing the thing God has in front of you to do. Because there should always be that stepping out in faith, doing the next thing to help someone, to serve in the church, to come alongside someone. And then you're going to have plenty of opportunity to wrestle Let's with wrestle. where God might have you at. So make it a great week and we'll see you next time on TGIF. Bye.